Bottoms coming at you with another video review and today I'm going to be bringing you the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Autobot Ratchet Deluxe Class part of the Nest Global Alliance line as you can see. Um, Autobot Ratchet and you know it's not too much it's a deluxe figure so you, you're not going to get too terribly much with this. Um, you see in the back here, Autobot Ratchet doesn't know why Lockdown is after him, and that's the uh, first time we're seeing about Lockdown. Uh, he just knows that the Decepticon Bounty Hunter will stop at nothing until his Autobot prey is in his chains. Autobot Ratchet isn't configured for heavy combat, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a few tricks up his manifold. Lockdown may catch him eventually, but Autobot Ratchet isn't going down without a fight. And um, so there's all that. There's the tech specs. There's the car. He is an H2 Hummer. Sure. With the launching EMP blast. It's kind of interesting that they decided to do this when they're coming out with a, uh, well, they, you know, the whole lockdown figure and everything. And they're trying to bring animated into it, it seems like. It says uh, Nest. I don't know if you can see that. It says Nest. Global Alliance there at the top. But having a lockdown figure in this from Animated is kind of interesting. And they're kind of tying this Ratchet into the Ratchet from Animated by having him have a EMP thing. And uh, it, it's not too bad. So there's the figure. Let's get him open and see what we have. Okay, guys. So here we have Deluxe Class uh, Nest ratchet out of its packaging and um, right off the bat I'm going to tell you that this thing sucks I, I don't like it I, I think it's a terrible idea to take something that like this and make it a, to a deluxe when you look at it all you see is robot junk that, that's that's the first thing that I notice on here when you look in the back um, there it's it's not covered by anything so you can see straight in there and it's just a bunch of robot junk and then obviously all that uh, our legs and arms it, it's not hidden very well at all so i i think it's i think this is a terrible idea it, it you know vehicle mode looks like crap robot mode is eh, and the transformation is very fiddly uh, if that's a word in, in terms of a size comparison there's the deluxe version and here's the actual voyager from the first movie line and as you can see i mean it's, it's, it's just really bad. Now, now, granted, the robot mode on this guy is really kind of Frankenstein-ish. This robot mode is a little bit more sleek, a little bit nicer looking, but in terms of, and, and, you know, a little bit more movie accurate, I suppose you could say, but I, I don't like the fact that it's more movie accurate, yet ridiculously smaller. I mean, you can kind of see the size scale here. I mean, th th this this guy dwarfs compared to him so overall though i mean like i said the vehicle mode i think is is terrible looking i mean it just looks atrocious i can't even think of really one that looks worse than this in in the new line uh, i don't like the fact that they're taking these figures and making them deluxe classes there's another deluxe version of uh, iron hide that's coming out which i'm if it's anything like this i'm not going to be impressed he does come with an emp generator now one thing that's kind of nice is they tie this with the deluxe lockdown from the Revenge of the Fallen line, they're kind of bringing some animated stuff. And here's an EMP generator, which we saw in the animated line itself. And it fires. Sure, you got a nice little kind of aqua colored missile. You got this little thing right here, and you plug it right in there. And it has the peg very similar to the animated peg for his EMP generator. And it just plugs in like so okay so we're gonna get that out of there we're gonna transform this guy now first what you need to do just come around here to the back and just kind of loosen this up loosen it up here in the top area and then you'll be able to lift this section fold this under fold that up like so uh, these little bits right here are kind of pains in the butt so you want to just flip those around and now we have his legs just kind of extend those outward fold out the feet do that on both sides like so then right up at the knee you want to rotate it around so rotate both of those legs and here we have the little feet things just kind of fold this out and fold now it's stiff you're stiffy fold that out like so then you want to come around here to the bottom now inside here and I'm gonna try and zoom in and show you this um, right up in here, these peg in. Hopefully you can see that, but they peg in. You see that little 
gray tab there, see where that matches? They peg in there. So you just detach those, fold the arms, pull them out, zoom back so you can see. Uh, you want to untab this, and that will, once you get the legs out of the way, you can swivel those out. Again, untab here. Swivel this bit around, fold down this section where his head is, and then you're going to rotate this bit 180 degrees. And like I said, I mean, it's really fiddly. There's a lot of, all these parts that stick off of him make him kind of complicated to transform. He, he's not very fluid in his transformation. So we're going to fold this back. You're going to fold this bit down, and the, this little section here will fold back, and you can have that. Come around here. I, see, I don't see a lot of people doing this, but if you look right in here, he's got little headlights. And this is actually one kind of neat thing that they included this. If you take this section here and fold this down, if, you can, if I can get my nail in there, um, and fold this all the way down, these are now in like a triangle-ish shape pointing downward. I don't know if you can see that very well. Plug that bit in. And that's that's more movie accurate as well. That's the way it looks in the show. So good good for them. Good job. And then all you have to do here is kind of position the arms how you want them. These these little bits here, the wheels, these pop off quite frequently. Fold the wheel up and under and that. And then you kind of just however you want to position this. Um, sure. Whatever you want to do. Fold that down, fold that down, position the legs, kind of make sure that these little flap things on the side are as far back as they can go, get the legs situated, and uh, there you have Deluxe Class Ratchet in his robot mode. <sighs> He looks a little bit better. Uh, mostly the things that I like about him are his legs. His legs are skinnier than the Voyager version and thusly more show accurate. A couple problems that I do have with him are mostly in his arms. Um, you got this and again, the look of him is more show accurate except for the fact that he's got these big giant bits just hanging off. Uh, the one thing that sucks though is like you rotate his arm and this whole, this thing, it doesn't peg into anything, it doesn't lock into place, and that whole thing moves when you move his arm, and I, that I think is stupid. I, I don't like the way that looks. Articulation wise, his head's kind of stuck here because it's got uh, little bits on the side. He does have some light piping that I might be able to show off. Oh yeah, the light piping on him sucks. Yeah, bad light piping. Very bad light piping. You could see these maybe a little bit better. Um, yeah, no. That doesn't show off well either. Uh, his arms will rotate. Um, again, you, you get the whole swivel thing, but uh, these bits here just are cumbersome. I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, they bend at the elbow. They also rotate right below the shoulder joint. The hands can kind of move in and out. Interesting hands. How he's got like... I don't know, two thumbs, two thumbs and three fingers, yeah, that's weird, um, no waist articulation, back and forth at the leg, kind of, in and out, when you rotate this, right inside there, you can kind of see some mech alive, yeah, sure, I mean, I'm just really not a fan of the way this guy looks, now with this EMP generator, you see the grooves on here, one thing that is kind of actually neat, I'm going to kind of zoom in here and try and show this, when you plug this in, you see those little bits, and the missile fired, because when you push down, that's where the trigger is, so. And you see the little bits come around and kind of clip on there, and it doesn't do a very good job. Um, those little bits fold up, the little gray bits, and then you take it out, and they slide back down. It, it, sure, okay. I mean, it's a, it's a decent attempt, and like I said, his missile went firing, so plug that right back in. And there he is with his EMP generator on his side. Now, let's show him off next to his Voyager counterpart. Okay, so here you see him next to his uh, Movie 1 2007 counterpart. Yeah. You can fiddle. God damn this piece. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say G-damn. I'm sorry. 
Don't say GDM. Um, Color-wise, he's a little bit nicer. This guy has that big, bright, bright neon green kind of look to him, but you can see a huge size difference. I do like the legs on this. They're, they're more accurate, but I really prefer this figure to this one. Even though that this one is not very accurate, he's he's got a nice bulk to him, and it, it's it's just I mean he doesn't have parts hanging off of him and a oh, little, oop where am I pointing at? Um, his little one of his little pieces fell off. <laughs> I just really don't like the way that this guy's got a lot of junk hanging off of him. He's a very kibbly looking robot mode, so I'm not a big fan of that. So overall, I mean. I, in this mode, I really can't, I mean, th this mode is better than his vehicle mode, so it's a little bit nicer, but it's still very unimpressive. All right, now to transform them, I'm going to take these little bits off, kind of rotate these shoulder bits back to their original positioning. And again, now you're going to really see the fiddle nature of this figure. Um, it seems like he gets more fiddly when you transform him back. So here we go. We're going to rotate these around, fold this back up. And kind of fold that down where his head is now going to be right above his crotch okay fold the arms backwards hopefully that's the right position and kind of get these out of the way you're gonna fold these in well see this like I said fiddle 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 not a big fan of the fiddle Gotta fold everything around and hopefully get everything lined up properly. Um, this is not going to be a very good review of transforming him back into his vehicle mode because can't really explain it. You just kind of have to fiddle with it. There we go. Uh, then maybe. And see, and like I said, all these little bits, they all they all want to get in the way of everything that of everything else that you're trying to do. So we got that lined up. Now we're going to bring this back in. And again, you got the little square peg right here that's going to tab into a section on the inside of the wheel here. There we go. Kind of fiddle, 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 fiddle. Oh, lift this bit back up so that now, and as you can see, they're now lined up. Line that up, kind of. There we go. Tab in the wrist section into the wheel base. Kind of fold this around and line everything up here. Line everything up here. If this looks painful, it probably is. Fold the little heel spur back in. Both sides rotate again at the knee. And then fold these down. And they fold up and in. And uh, again, you're going to have another section where. Here's a little tab right here that tabs into a section right there. Only problem is it doesn't really tab very well there. It, it, it doesn't want to ever stay where it's supposed to. So I usually don't tab those in. <laughs> Take this, fold this all the way back. No, nope, fold this little section out. Tab these together on the back section. And then come around here, make sure that's tabbed. Tab this upper section. Again, it's it's kind of almost like puzzle former-ish. Plug all that in. And again, if you if you if you're patient enough, you might be able to get these to line up. Oh, well, that kind of does it. They they don't really peg in, they just kind of line up there. But when you do it, it always kind of separates these and then you look on the bottom and they'll be untabbed so kind of sucks take your EMP generator plug that back in and here you have deluxe class ratchet from the revenge of the fallen nest line whatever you want to call it don't get this guy I mean you might like my personal opinion is I think it sucks uh, I can't recommend this at all you may end up liking it I'm not a big fan. I mean, it's got a you know it's a little Autobot logo, which you can't really see, but it's right on there. I, I mean, just look at this. It, it just looks terrible to me. I really am unimpressed with it. I really can't recommend this thing. So I do apologize. But until next time, guys, I'll hopefully bring you another review that uh, of a figure that I actually like. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later.